go. Eggs are cracking. Bagon down there. Ooh, let me see if I can get a Bagon egg hatch right here. And let's see if we get a shiny pop right next to the non shiny. Aw, oh, come on, Bagon. Look, you're gonna meet your new little brother. Look. make this crap up. Oh, I really wish this Bagon was right next to the baby. Oh, the shiny meant to say. Oh, that would have been so perfect. Oh, I'm so mad I could I could get the Bagon right next to the shiny. Uh, there's a way I could theoretically do that. Hang on. Technically, there's a way. Hey, check it out! Hey, buddy! Hi! Look! 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 I love how night and day it is between the two. Look at this. Oh, ah, crap. Here we go. Got another egg hatch. I'm gonna head over. Hey, no worries, Abs. Have a good night, night, my friend. Hope to see you around. Have a good night. Peace. But yeah, we got the shiny bacon. We got the shiny bacon. Or green bacon. At only, at only, uh... 112, that's it. <laughs> and I love how the... Oh, crap. Uh, this is awkward. Yeah, we're not dealing with this crap. We're going to swap out. <laughs> no, big God. Your little brother's a little too weak. Oh, you were just going to use scary face. Okay. Oh, you are going to use scary face to the baby. What the hell, big God. Uh, check his summary. Check his summary. Um, sheer force. I think that's his hidden ability, right? If so, this might be a perfect Bagon then. For Salivant. Look at his IVs. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. And again, Doodle, before I forget, uh, thank you again for the follow. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it so much. But yeah, we got the shiny bag. I've thought about playing Pikmin. I haven't played any previous Pikmins. I wanted to, but I never came around when I was a kid. Because back then, I didn't have a 64. But now that the Pikmin's on the Switch, I'll definitely be playing... I definitely do want to play Pikmin very soon. But anyways, yeah, I got the bag. Uh, we got the bag. Uh, we got the shiny bag. Uh. Oh, and this is his ability. Sweet. So, we, so we're going to have a boxy salivance. Let's go. All right, guys. All right, guys. You ready to see your green machine? And yes, and yes guys, before we started this for YouTube, uh, we end up naming our, our Bagon the Green Machine. Now, this will typically be our Moxie Salamence guy. He's going to be using up the Moxie Boos, Jolly Nature, all that good jazz. When I played Sword and Shield, this was my go-to Salamence too back in those days. I know Salamence hasn't really been high tier quite exact yet. But, hey, you never know. There could be a situation where Moxie Salamence can actually be good and competitive all of a sudden. And if that happens, boom, we're prepared to go. But I do remember the funny story I had with my, my uh, Moxie Salamence from back in my store in Shield days. Back when we were allowed to do Dynamaxing, I always loved do, using like Dragon Dance twice. I did this online against people a lot, too. I would do Dragon Dance twice and immediately Dynamax. So max airstream, so I would get like a free speed boost every time I would use a max airstream. Moxie every time I kill uh, the opponent, Mon, I would get a free attack boost. So essentially, I began like a free dragon dance without using dragon dance. 
as I would kill more mods on the board, which is funny. Sadly, we don't get that luxury no more. We don't get the free speed boost, and I don't think we get dragon shot in this, or dragon scale in this, or, I'm sorry, scale shot, I apologize. I don't think we get scale shot in this game too, so we won't, we don't have anything that can utilize using the similar mechanic as, as those, I guess our, our go-to, which is rely on dragon dance and hope for the best, or if you really want to risk it for biscuit, just equip it with choice scarf and just rely on whatever best attack you got. Hope you pray that your outrage is enough. Pray you don't run into a, a fairy type if you go with the outrage method with choice scarf. But anyways, uh, before we evolve our uh, Bagon, we haven't done this in a while because we were used to not doing it with the Eevees. So here we go. We haven't done this in the first stage in a while since the Eevee hunts. We have non-shiny Spooter. Grievousy, the shiny bagel, in a friend ball. Ah, screw it. We'll, we'll kill with the, with the ember. Oh wait, shit! No, we didn't want to do that. I forgot to give it the hyper train stuff. You're doing Musuda? Good luck with your Musuda, dude. And I'll hit and I'll hit your rewards very soon. Uh, right now, I'm just doing a bit for YouTube. But anyways, let's go ahead, fast forward to the good part, and just go right straight ahead to get get to the Salamence. Scary face, not necessary. Crunch, tempting. Ah, you know what? Yeah, we'll 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 learn crunch and get rid of the fight. Why not? Ooh, our Lulu, shiny Lulu, and heavy ball. That'd be dope. That would be so dope. I hope you get it. Playboy, he says. Ooh, Zenhipa. That's not a terrible move, actually. We're gonna get rid of this move more than likely, but whatever. Flamethrower attempting, but ah, whatever. We're gonna forget it anyways. <sighs> All right, Green Machine evolving. There he is, Xiao Gaon. Unfortunately, as much as we would love to learn protect, we're not going with protect. We're going with the full-on physical in-your-face set with this motherfucker. Excuse my language. Ah, oh, love how we get the choice to use focus energy twice. Ah, oh, crap! I've got to showcase Shogun attacking. There he is! Green Machine to Salamence! I am planning on shiny hunting for Bagon again, just to get that Bagon to Shogun so I can complete the shiny Salamence line. So we'll make up for that in that, in that next video. He wants to learn fly, not necessarily. Yeah. Alright, here's the boy! The Green Machine! Look at him! Grieber she, Grieber she, Grieber she. I love that. I love him. I'm not gonna lie. I don't hate his shiny. <laughs> In my opinion, it's not a terrible shiny. Um, it does fit the name Green Machine perfectly. The mean green wrecking machine. But growing up, I've always thought his shiny would have been a lot better if his colors were like inverted instead. But oh well, at least in Paldea, he does the green does look a little toned down a little bit, almost very similar to what they did with Dragonite shiny a little bit. So I guess it kind of works out at least a little bit in the end. But nonetheless, we got the green machine on our side ready to go. So before we forget, guys, let's go ahead and showcase our bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
We got the non-shiny Sneasel. And... Grieve Sheep. The shiny salvage. And a friend ball. Tch. Metal Claw. Oh yeah? Well, well, I got Dragon Claw. Oh, this camera angle sucks. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. I got Dragon Claw. How do you like me now? Like in the Moxie Boost Mario. Okay, that was just funny. Oop, good again. All right, there you go. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are wondering where the final Eevee video is, uh, I'm just waiting for a thumbnail to be done by my girlfriend who wants to do a special thumbnail for me, which is awesome of her. I very appreciate it. Uh, next hunt is going to be Refinikin. Then it's going to be uh, Charmander. And then after those two hunts, I think I'm going to be done shiny hunting until the DLC comes out, I think. And when the DLC comes out, I'm going to play through the story. Then we're going to potentially shiny hunt for either Applin or something else, depending on what I'm feeling. And move on from there on such. But right now, we're focused on Let's Play for Devil May Cry 4. We're thinking about playing Spyro as a Hero's Tale again. And other cool stuff. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys around. In and out. Bye.